Fish is a commonly consumed source of protein that can be grown locally to contribute to our food security. To miss Nadia Samdin's question, SFA have been working, has been working closely with the industry over the past year to understand their needs and introduce best practices that can help them uplift their production and the sector. I've joined them in some of these engagements and visited many of the farms in the Johor Straits as well as in the southern waters. The sea-based fish farms in Singapore are indeed quite varied, each with a unique approach to farming. Some, like Rong Yao Fisheries, culture their fish in traditional open net cage systems. With good farm management practice in place, Rong Yao Fisheries had obtained the Good Aquaculture Practice Fish Farming Certification. We have also seen the emergence of high-tech farms which have the potential to transform fish farming by culturing fish intensively. The Eco Up by Aquaculture Centre of Excellence is one of the world's first purpose-built floating close containment aquaculture production structure that combines offshore and marine technology with a close containment system, using water treatment technology to provide good quality seawater to culture the fish and at the same time reduce the vulnerability to external conditions. Farms like Rong Yao and Ace EcoArc have found farming methods that work for them, but they also share their hopes of getting greater certainty on their use of sea space so that they can continue to invest in their future. Today, sea-based farms do not have a lease mechanism, and this creates some uncertainty for our farms. So we will offer leases to all sea-based farms in the longer term. Incumbent farms will be eased into this arrangement by starting with Yearly Renewable Temporary Occupation License, or TOL, from 1st January 2023. The charges will be progressively stepped up to market rate from 2023 to 2026. This will give farms sufficient lead time to consider the longer-term investment decisions. I also mentioned in my speech last year that SFA plans to launch new sea space tenders on lease. I'm glad to share that this will happen from the end of 2022. Sea-based farms will see a reduction in their annual license fee from 1st January 2023. SFA has reviewed the fish farm license fees to ensure that it remains relevant and that compliance costs for the industry are minimised. Only new farm applications and farms with major changes to their farming activities, such as change in food type, that they want to produce will be subject to a separate one-off assessment fee due to higher manpower and equipment costs incurred during the course of the assessment. More details will be announced in the coming months. Now, to address Ms. Nadia Samdin, Mr. Ko Liempin, and Raj, Mr. Raj Joshua Thomas' queries, we will, one, we want to provide greater certainty for our farmers so that they will invest more into their farms. I'm happy to announce that new land and sea parcels will benefit from longer-term leases of 20 plus 10 years. This means that future tenders will offer farmers the option of extending their lease beyond the initial 20-year period for an additional 10 years, subject to farm meeting SFA's production output conditions.